Greetings YouTube, once again happy Wednesday. I have no idea what this video is going to be called, but I'm guessing it might have to do something with the thank god these rewards in the side quest were buffed. Because I am, uh, well, I've been playing this game for probably so long it's too long, right? My roster is reflective of that. I have multiple 565, 5 stars, rank 2, 6 stars. Uh, the kind of roster that, I don't know, 98, maybe even 99% of players don't have. And so I try to consider that when I think about something like the side quest epic difficulty. Because, like, I'm on my final path, and I'll do the boss fight here in a second, and we'll see what the 100% rewards look like. But, you know, I still have had uh, a little bit of trouble here and there. I haven't had to use any revives but there have been some fights, particularly this middle path, that I thought were just straight BS. Starting with what I noticed was this yellow jacket. Because you see we have that oh so fun node of freezer burn. It's back. If you don't know what freezer burn is, when striking the defender, the, the attacker has a 20% chance to be inflicted with an incinerate debuff, dealing 100% of the defender's current attack as direct damage over five seconds. When striking the defender's block, the attacker has a 20% chance to be inflicted with the cold snap debuff. So clearly you can get a hold of one of these things because you just don't hit into his block, right? Just don't hit into his block. You don't get cold snap. But when striking the defender, period, it, most people are not immune to incinerate damage. And so this is the kind of BS node that unless you have somebody like a Red Hulk like I do, uh, you're going to take some damage even if you're fighting perfectly. And if that wasn't BS enough, because it's Yellow Jacket, you know, Yellow Jacket's a fine defender, but not amazing. Electro has the same node, along with protection shielding and debuff effects last 100% longer and debilitate. So you add that in, and this middle path, I, uh, I lost like, um, I don't know, 70 to 80% of my blade from uh, this because I used the Ghost Rider synergy and it still didn't matter. So yeah, it's um, it's fine. I mean, this is fine content for me with my roster, but I'm just guessing that a lot of people were using, especially like rank three and maybe rank four, uh, five stars even, aren't gonna love that middle path. And people might say, well, good. They deserve to use revives. They deserve to use units. It's not supposed to be easy. I get that, but at the same time, it's still something that is a little bit of a headache. Also, fun fact, the first two times I fought this, it was with Diablo, and this is Dr. Doom. So I am going to be, uh, well, showing off some lack of skills by trying to dodge that special one. So hey, if you're having trouble with this, maybe you can be like, hey, Prof's like me. He kind of sucks sometimes. I'll use Blade after this. All right. I also have not timed the special two right. I don't even remember what it was. I was like, oh, yeah, I think it was two. Uh... All right, well, good news is I'm going to get him about half down. And there we go. All right, so <laughs> how to not fight Dr. Doom by Prof Off while talking into a microphone as it starts to heavily pour rain outside. By the way, Mysterio also got me down pretty good in the fight before. People say, I like watching you fight because you make me feel better about myself. So let me let me let you feel better about yourself. Let me let that be the overarching um, legacy in your life. And I don't know why I thought blocking that was a good idea. I knew it was unblockable, right? <laughs> Get wrecked. Uh, thank God I've got uh, a couple of champs that haven't been used at all. Three to be exact. Let's let's try. I actually haven't used Omega Red against Doctor Doom yet, so let's just see how Omega looks, huh? Man, love it so far. And we are going to just lock in those spores and just chill back until he dies. Well, see, this is why you hunt for Omega Red for eight months and almost 105 stars. So you can accomplish that fight. Man, Diablo was a lot more fun than uh, Dr. Doom, I'll say that. So 1,500 five-star shards in total and a couple of uh, five-star signature stones. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a good, fair 
content for somebody who's got my roster, but if you've got people who are naturally like rank three, rank four, five stars, maybe even best champs unawakened, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. Watch out for that middle path because it is a doozy, particularly when you have BS defenders already like Electro. So uh, do you find this content to be fair? I certainly think the rewards make it way better. I mean, 1,500 five-star shards is not easy. Consider this is the same amount of five-star shards that you get for 100% completing heroic and all the energy it takes to do that. I'm also thankful that they kept it at one energy per tile. So shout out to Kaban for that. I try to be as fair as possible in my review of new content. So let me know what you think in the comments below. We're going to keep this video somewhat short as I always try to do and say thanks for watching YouTube. Have a good one.